Good evening. My name is Tanya Bailey Gracia, and today I'll be presenting a speech for my speech communications class on social media and the negative aspects of it. I just want to speak to you guys briefly about the amount of time that's spent on social media, the drama that they have on social media, and bullying that is now taking place on social media. To date, there are about three major websites for social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all of which can put pictures, make comments, catch up with friends, family, which can all be good things if you're using it in the appropriate manner. Unfortunately, what has been happening lately is that people are using it as their therapy session, putting their personal business out on these sites for others to make comments which aren't always appropriate. The reasons that these sites were created are so that family and friends can catch up all over the world. Also, for our long lost friends, such as elementary school friends, high school friends can actually reunite and see what's going on with each other as well as their families. People seem to think that it's so much easier instead of speaking to each other, they tend to just type up these harsh, vicious, malicious comments towards each other instead of bringing love. There are special moments that people share and others take it as negative things and therefore they'll make a negative comment and then this starts something what they call Facebook war or internet bullying. Some people even take it to the next extreme where they are stalking others on websites. They are threatening others. And this has now become a major issue as well as it is considered a crime with all over the world. A lot of times we kind of subject ourselves to these things happening because of certain things that we do put on there. It is definitely up to us what we post and to kind of control that there are settings that you can go on to these websites for to kind of control who can make comments or not. Regardless of what, we need to take heed to what is being put out there if we don't want comments to come back. At the same time, if there is any type of bullying or threatening or stalking going on, it is definitely important to get in touch with the authorities and let them be aware of what's going on. What's happening now are police, detectives, FBI are actually looking into Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for stalking or bullying or threatening messages, and people are being brought up on charges for this. Employers are now being used, employers are now using these social media sites as well to their advantage as far as checking up to see what their employees are doing. So just be very careful as to what information you're putting out there if you don't want your boss to know about it. Another thing that's very important is if someone puts something out there and you feel the need to make a comment, if you're not gonna make a positive comment, just don't comment at all. Addressing things that have nothing to do with you tends to stir the pot in a very negative fashion. And this is what starts a lot of problems that are unnecessary. In conclusion, as much as this could be a positive thing, by making these negative comments and being mean to each other, it's taken away from what these websites were actually created for. We have a lot of teenagers and kids that are now on these websites, and we as adults need to be the ones to set the positive examples so that they don't fall into the trap of all of this negative negativity and bullying. Don't do, the, don't do things to others that you would not want done to yourself. Thank you.